Have you ever wondered how big the universe actually is? It's a question that's been asked since the dawn of time, and even now, with all our technological advances and scientific knowledge, it's still something that boggles the mind. The universe, in its unfathomable vastness, is a cosmic ocean filled with galaxies, stars, planets, and countless mysteries waiting to be unraveled. But just how big is this cosmic ocean, you may ask? Well, let's try to put it into perspective. Imagine holding a grain of sand. Pretty small, right? Now think about a beach. That grain of sand is like our planet Earth and the beach represents our galaxy, the Milky Way. But wait, it doesn't stop there. There are more beaches or galaxies in the universe than grains of sand on that beach you're imagining. Mind boggled yet? Okay, let's try another perspective. Picture an airplane. Now imagine that airplane is set to fly non-stop, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If this airplane was to fly from the sun to the nearest star, Proxima Centauri, it would take approximately 5 million years to complete the journey. That's longer than the entire existence of humans on Earth. These comparisons may seem ludicrous, but they give us a glimpse into the mind-bending enormity of our universe. It's a place where the rules of size and distance as we know them on Earth simply do not apply. It's a place where stars are born and die, where galaxies collide and merge, where the unending dance of cosmic evolution plays out on a stage of unimaginable scale. Yet these vast distances are just the beginning. They represent only a tiny fraction of the cosmic ocean that we are a part of. From our tiny grain of sand we look out into the cosmic ocean and see an expanse that is almost impossible to comprehend. Now that we have a basic understanding of the astronomical distances let's dive deeper into the size of our universe. When we talk about the universe we often refer to the observable universe. But what does that mean you might ask? Well, picture yourself inside a giant bubble. This bubble represents the observable universe and you dear listener are stationed right at its center. The observable universe is the part of the universe we can theoretically see from our vantage point here on Earth. It's not the entire universe but it's all that we can detect, measure or possibly interact with. You see, there's a limit to how far we can see or receive information from. This limit is dictated by the speed of light and the age of the universe. Imagine light as a cosmic courier delivering messages from distant galaxies. These messages in the form of light take time to travel across the vastness of space. The farther away a galaxy is, the longer its light takes to reach us. So when we gaze into the night sky, we're not just looking far away, we're also looking far back in time. Now let's talk about size. The observable universe is a sphere with you at the center and has a radius of about 46 billion light years. That's the maximum distance from which we could possibly receive light or other signals. But here's a mind-bending fact. This doesn't mean the universe is 46 billion years old. It's actually only around 13.8 billion years old. How can that be? Well, the universe has been expanding since the Big Bang. So, the galaxies we see in the furthest reaches of our observable universe were much closer when their light first started journeying towards us. To sum it up, the observable universe is like a cosmic time machine, a spherical window through which we can view the distant past. It's mind-bogglingly vast, encompassing countless galaxies, stars, and planets. Yet, as grand as it may seem, our observable universe is just a tiny fraction of the whole universe. How much more is out there beyond what we can see? That's a question for another time. But for now, let's marvel at the immensity of what we can observe. Our observable universe is mind-bogglingly vast but it's just a tiny fraction of the whole universe. So if the observable universe is only a fraction of the whole universe, how big is the entire universe? Well here's where things get really interesting. The size of the whole universe is a topic that has sparked countless debates among astrophysicists. There are two main theories that attempt to answer this perplexing question. The first theory posits that the universe is infinite. Yes, you heard it right. Infinite. It suggests that if you were to travel in a straight line across the cosmos, you would never reach an end. Instead, you'd continue journeying through an endless expanse of galaxies, stars, and cosmic dust. But remember, this is just a theory, and it's one that some scientists find hard to swallow. After all, the concept of infinity is, by its very nature, unfathomable to the human mind. The second theory proposes a different scenario. It postulates that the universe could be finite but unbounded, much like the surface of a sphere. To understand this, imagine you're an ant walking on the surface of a balloon. You could walk forever without ever reaching an edge despite the fact that the balloon's surface is finite. Similarly, if the universe is finite but unbounded, it means that space could curve back upon itself, creating a closed, boundless cosmos. 
But here's the kicker. Despite these compelling theories, the true size of the universe remains a mystery. Our current understanding of the cosmos is based on what we can observe, and there's a vast expanse of universe that lies beyond our observational reach. It's like trying to understand the full story of a novel by reading a single page. So, while we may never be able to definitively answer the question, how big is the universe, it doesn't make the quest any less fascinating. The universe, in all its vastness and mystery, continues to captivate our curiosity and drive our scientific endeavors. The size of the universe is a mystery that continues to intrigue scientists and laypeople alike. Did you know that the universe is constantly expanding? Yes, you heard it right. Our cosmos, this vast expanse of space and time we call home, is not static. Rather, it's stretching, expanding, and growing larger with every passing second. Imagine, if you will, a balloon. Picture the surface of this balloon as our universe. As you inflate the balloon, the surface stretches and expands. This is much like what's happening to our universe. As it expands galaxies, just like the dots on the surface of your balloon, are moving away from each other. This idea of an expanding universe isn't something new. It was first proposed by astronomer Edwin Hubble in the early 20th century. Hubble discovered that galaxies are not stationary. Instead, they're moving away from us and from each other. Through his observations he found that the farther a galaxy is from us, the faster it seems to be moving away. This became known as Hubble's Law, and it's a cornerstone of our understanding of the universe's expansion. What's causing this expansion you might ask? Well, scientists believe that a mysterious force known as dark energy is the culprit. Dark energy is thought to be spread throughout the universe, pushing galaxies apart and causing the universe to expand at an accelerating rate. But what does this mean for us? Well, as the universe expands, galaxies become more isolated. In the far-off future, billions of years from now, the galaxies we see today may have moved so far away that they'll no longer be visible from Earth. Our night sky will look vastly different, with fewer galaxies to light it up. This expansion also has implications for the size of the universe. It's not just that the universe is unimaginably vast, it's getting bigger all the time. With every second that ticks by, our universe grows, adding countless miles to its already mind-boggling expanse. So not only is the universe unimaginably vast, it's also constantly growing. And as it grows, so does our understanding of this incredible cosmos we are a part of. To sum up, the universe is a vast, ever-expanding mystery. We've covered a lot of ground today, so let's take a moment to revisit some of the key points. We started our journey by exploring the astronomical distances within our very own solar system. We learned that even within our own cosmic neighborhood, the scales are mind-boggling. The distance from the Sun to Neptune, the furthest planet in our solar system is over two and a half billion miles. That's a distance so massive, it's simply beyond our everyday comprehension. Next, we ventured into the concept of the observable universe. This is the part of the universe that we can actually see, which stretches out for about 93 billion light years in all directions from Earth. To put that into perspective, a light year is the distance light travels in a year, which is roughly 6 trillion miles. Multiply that by 93 billion, and you begin to grasp the enormity of the observable universe. Then we delved into theories about the size of the whole universe. Although it's impossible to measure with certainty, most scientists believe the universe is infinite. It goes beyond what we can see or even conceive, extending into the realms of the unknown. We also discussed the concept of the expanding universe. The universe isn't just big, it's getting bigger. Since the Big Bang around 13.8 billion years ago, the universe has been expanding outward at an incredible rate. And not only is it expanding but the rate of expansion is also accelerating. So there you have it. Our universe is a vast, ever-expanding expanse of space and time, filled with countless galaxies, stars, and planets. It's a place of incredible distances, infinite size, and ceaseless expansion. The universe is a vast and beautiful mystery, and we're lucky to be a tiny part of it.